Hi, my name is Nuno Fonseca. I'm the creator of Sound Particles, and I'm going to share with you a small tip that can improve your soundscapes. When you think about creating a soundscape, it doesn't matter if it's in the middle of the forest or a big city or a battlefield. Essentially, you want to create that ambient sound that you get over there. And of course, you want something that feels natural and organic. Nonetheless, there is a common mistake that people do when using sound particles, that it's still probably because they think too much as a digital audio workstation. And when you think about a digital audio workstation, you think about spreading sounds around. So essentially it's okay, let's spanning things around. And you, you go to sound particles and create a torus or a circle line or something like that and say, okay, I'm spreading sounds around, that's enough. By using a torus or circle line, essentially you are missing two very important ingredients that you going to get if you change that, for instance, for a box or a rectangular with a big distance like a mile wide or one kilometer or something like that. When you're using a torus or a circle line, what happens is that pretty much every single sound is going to play at the same volume. So yes, you're going to, you may have different sounds there with different volumes, but all of them is going to play pretty much at the same sound level. And that doesn't feel quite organic. Yes, you are panning them around and you are uh, having the, the panning right, but it's going to feel a little awkward because all the sounds are very flat because they don't have this depth in them. When you change for something like a box with a big distance, once again, one mile, one kilometer, those kinds of distance, what happens It's two important things. First of all, now, because particles are far away, what is going to happen is that each particle is going to sound at a different volume level because of the distance. So you get a much more natural feeling because some sounds sound higher, some softer. So you start having a more depth to things. The second important ingredient, it's a matter of proportion. So when you are in the forest, in the big city or a battlefield, what happens? is that you have many sounds playing very far away and only a few sounds close to you. And by having this right proportion, it feels much more natural. When you go into sound particles and use a rectangle, what happens is that most of those sounds, it's going to sound very far away. And most of them are only there adding to the rumble instead of actually sounding uh, detailed. Nonetheless, you, you're going to have more particles coming close and close to the microphone. And when you come close to the microphone, you get more sound, more detail. So you are able to get both epic and scale, but at the same time also detailed kind of sound. So, and that makes the end result feels much more organic and with much more natural. So let's listen to a, a small example. What I have here, it's something based on the battlefield template from Sound Particles. So I have two examples. The first one is I'm using a torus, okay? So it, feels, it sounds like this. Okay, so in this case, what I have, it's something that is very flat. It's the same sound over and over again at the same uh, volume. Yes, spread around, but spread uh, around in terms of panning and in terms of timing, but pretty much the same thing. And now let's listen to the same example, but only the only difference is now we're talking about a rectangle with one mile wide. So, as you can see in this example, everything feels more natural, more organic, with more depth, and that's because of these two ingredients. So, sounds are not playing all of them at the same level, and second, we are getting the right proportion with many sounds soft, a few sounds loud. So, by doing this, you improve our end result and it's going to feel much more natural and I hope you enjoy this and 
use this tip to improve your soundscapes with sound particles.